Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show how to connect to the net scalers. Okay, I'm going to show how to connect to the net scalers in my test environment. So in my test environment, I have two net scalers. This is the primary net scaler and this is the secondary net scaler. And this is my client PC from where I'm going to connect to the net scalers and I'm going to manage it from my client PC machine. And this is my domain controller. So if you see here, this is my primary net scaler. It is uh, booting up. I think it booted up fine. Let me click on secondary net scaler. Okay, so this is my secondary net scaler. It's still, you know, trying to come up. So once these machines are up, we can manage these net scalers. Let me click on client PC machine. Okay. Okay, I logged into the machine successfully. Let me open Internet Explorer. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to one of the Netscalers. So let me click on primary Netscaler. The IP address of this Netscaler is 192.168.25.148, okay? It's 192.168.25.148 and the machine is up. It says state is up. So I'm going to simply type the IP address in the address bar and see how it goes. 192.168.25.148. So it's all already there. So I'm going to hit enter. So once you hit enter, okay, it's trying to connect to the Netscaler now. So the default username and password for the Netscaler is nsroot, N-S-R-O-O-T ns root and the password is also ns root so i'm going to log in to the net scaler now this is the primary net scaler i'm going to log in okay so the net scaler that i have in my test environment is vpx it's a virtual appliance basically so we have three types of net scalers in the market one is mpx which is a hardware device and the other one is vpx which is a virtual appliance and the other one is sdx which is like a hypervisor on top of hypervisor you can create multiple virtual machines which are net scalers multiple net scalers vpx instances okay so it's a Citrix user experience improvement program. CUXIP collects data for the sole purpose of improving the graphical user interface. The collected data is used only by Citrix engineers. It is not shared with anyone. So as a customer, as a customer, if you want to share some data with Citrix product support for the better performance, you know, it, it's like a feedback that you're giving from your Netscaler and they will take it as a feedback and they're going to improve their product. So if you want, you can enable the option. Otherwise, you can skip it. So I'm going to just enable it. Okay. Okay, it is trying to enable it. Seems like it is taking a few seconds to load. So once this is done, once this is enabled, we can uh, you know manage the net scaler basically you have multiple options on the top you have dashboard configuration reporting documentation downloads so we can uh, manage the net scaler seems like seems like it is taking a few seconds So uh, previously it used to be called as Citrix Netscaler, but they have changed the name to ADC. So ADC is Application Delivery Controller, okay? It's Application Delivery Controller, which is the new name that they have given to Netscaler. So some people call it Netscaler or some people call it ADC, both are same, okay? Okay, so yes, so this is the dashboard and uh, this is configuration reporting documentation download so let me click on dashboard okay so this is the main screen 
so it shows all the details like this so let me click on configuration So if you want to check what are all the features that are available on your particular Netscaler, it's, so it depends upon the type of Netscaler that you, ha that you have in your environment, okay? Click on continue. So on the top left hand side, you have system here, click on system and you click on licenses here. So once you click on licenses, so these are all the features that you have available on the Netscaler. So if you go to the, you know, uh, premium license, if you have platinum or premium license you get all the features you get all the features so if you have green check mark it means that you have this feature enabled so it depends upon the kind of license you have on your Netscaler. if you have premium license you, you have all the features but if you have a basic license then you have only few few features that will be available on your Netscaler. so you can use these features on your Netscaler to configure various things in the citrix environment Okay, so these are the you know basic details that I wanted to share in this video. So if you see here, this is the IP address of the machine that we are connected right now, and this is the Netscaler version. So right now I am on Netscaler 12.164.16 NC. Okay, so yes, so I just wanted to give a quick introduction about Netscaler in this video. I hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye bye. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.